Yo, what is up everyone? This is your boy Monchus. How you guys doing? Alright, so today we got our first glimpse at free roaming and free whatever, you know? Now we can actually do stuff, you know? Explore the map, interact with other students and characters, and just have a whole bunch of fun. Also, look at Morgana. Oh my goodness, this cat. Um, so one of the things that I want to do, uh, because there is quite a few things to do, uh, amongst getting Kamashita's heart. That's obviously the big thing, but there's a lot more to the game than just, you know, stealing Kamashita starts. Uh, so the first thing, I want to get all my stats up. Uh, so secondly, I'd also like to do some confidants, um, just talk to people. And then also I'd like to get some books because I'm a nerdy, edgy boy. Yeah, books in this game are literally my favorite. Uh, so yeah, let's see. I believe we could confidant yep. with Ryuji right now, actually. First, I need to go to the library though. The library has books, and books are literally Excuse me? like um, amazing for this game. <gasps> so, yeah, everyone knows about me, and it's quite funny. And yeah. everyone's skeptical and scared. <sighs> what would you like? Also, during rain, uh, during rain is a lot of things. Speed Reader, this is one of the reasons why we need to visit the library as well. Speed Reader increases your reading speed, so you can read two parts of a book instead of just one. Uh, you'll see how books are. It's not really that, like, difficult to understand. It's actually you just pick up a book and you read it part by part. It's pretty simple. Alright, so that's our first book. Uh, let's go hang out with Ryuji. I believe we can hang out with Ryuji. So during, uh, during rainy season or any time that there's quote-unquote bad weather, um, studying will always get you better results. So for example, it says here, also during bad weather, your focus will increase and your knowledge will improve even more. Nice. And we want to improve hey. all that. I think knowledge is one of the first things that you can get. And knowledge, knowledge is pretty easy to raise. You raise it through the story oh. pretty much. Because you have all these tests that you have to do anyway. So, it's not that hard to obtain knowledge. Wow. Wanna head back? Yeah, so during bad weather, I just want to pay attention to where I'm spending my resources and what I'm doing with my free time. Mm -hmm. It is raining. You're right, Sochiro. Wait, don't think about... Sure, so show your outside. Yo. Alright, so I believe now we could confront with Silky Rail. Hey, how's school? School is amazing. You're not causing I love any this trouble, song, by the way. Mm, I might be. Look here. I've got to report to your probation officer twice a month. It's already a pain in the ass as is, so please don't make me have to write even more crap. Got that? This society is kept in check by laws and authority figures. You can go and get yourself killed if you want, but don't go dragging other people into your mess. The last thing we need is more idiots like you roaming around. Hmm? Yeah, I'm heading out now. I know. The usual, right? Okay. I'll see you later. As you can see, I'm pretty damn busy both at work and in my private life. If you could lend a hand, it'd really be a great help. I'd be glad to, Sergio. Now we're talking. Either way, I won't ask you to work for free. If you agree to help me, then I'll teach you how to make the perfect cup of coffee. Not a bad trade, eh? All right. Looks like we got ourselves a deal.
You may call yourself a phantom thief, but you're still a miner. Someone had to support... Furthermore, they did so knowing you were a... Isn't the owner of that cafe an accomplice of yours? How did he come to that conclusion? I will say Sai is pretty perceptive though. I am thou. Just for a private thou investigator, she I. is pretty perceptive. Thou hast it shall be the birth. Alright. I'll be kinda I owe you one. I'm gonna head back then. Alright, so now uh, a part of the things that we can do for our free time is actually run the coffee shop. Uh, with Sojuro's help at least. What that actually does for us is that we can actually create uh, items and gifts and abilities um, to help strengthen us in our phantom thievery. That's incredible! Yeah, so from now on, anytime you're like invading someone's palace, they'll continuously bother you about it until the day of expulsion or the day of whatever. explore Yungin Jaya. And as you can see above Sojiro, he actually has a card above him. That's just going to tell you that he's able to confidant. Um, if the card is blue, however. If it's white, it's uh, I don't think it's able to confidant. I'm not sure. Mm, let's read some books. So yeah, now that we actually have some books, because we didn't have books before, um, I can actually start reading. Wow! So yeah, this game gives you a lot of options to do whatever you hey, need hey. to do um, in the set amount of time that you have. There's going to be a goal like every month to every few months and you have to learn how to expi expedite your time and do whatever to ensure that you, know, you accomplish that goal. Essentially, this is just a gameplay, you know? You have a whole bunch of free room, and then you have the palace itself, and then, yeah. The job gets you, yeah, it gives you a lot of charm, it gives you a lot of kindness, um, and then you work multiple times a day. It's not like an actual job. It's not like an actual job in real life where you have a set, set schedule with whenever you want to. Um, so I think the easiest job is triple seven. Yeah, I haven't actually worked at the beef bowl shop before. Oh. So yeah, now we got a job at Triple Seven. The cool thing about Triple Seven is that every day that has a seven in the calendar number, um, you get extra money and you get extra charm. So it's pretty good. Inmate. 
What's up? I was waiting. Oh. I thought they were gonna like, you know, talk. Dang, that was a full throttle kick. How can she have the strength to kick that high? So yeah, this game scatters like a whole bunch of stuff that you can do, um, a whole bunch of stuff to also explore. And yeah, it's just overall really jam-packed. I mean, there's a reason why you can play this game for like 300 hours and you want to be done with like everything. It's a pretty good game. Anyway, so I'm going to yep. yeah hang out with Ryuji. Come on, man. Or not. Yo. Wanna get going? Yeah, so I haven't done any of Ryuchi's confidants before, so quite interesting. Mm. So one of the cool things, one of the cool takeaways from this confidant is that Ryuchi states that his body is flimsy in real life compared to how he is in the metaverse. Um, the reason that is is because the metaverse holds special powers and then everyone has special attributes and powers about them. Um, so it's pretty interesting to see that difference because Ryuchi is technically like injured um, or at least he was with his leg and with what happened to Kamashita. But it's pretty interesting to see that that these characters like you know they don't necessarily like you know rely on the metaverse or whatever to strengthen them they actually can do stuff in real life as well to strengthen them and then that therefore strengthens them in the metaverse if that makes sense <laughs> it's like thinking about it like with superheroes like batman isn't strong because he's batman it's because He's able to be Batman, you know. If he wasn't a strong human being, you know, um, he couldn't put on the mask and be Batman, you know. I feel like you have to be a stronger, you know, human being inside, or a stronger, a stronger like person uh, behind the mask than in the mask, you know. And it's kind of the same thing with Persona. So yeah, he's just talking about his track team experiences um, and with what happened with Kamashita. It's pretty interesting. Let's go. Um, that high five was pitiful. Punk talk. If negotiation with an uppy shadow fails, you can try again. All right. Guess that'll be useful. All right. Yeah, so I haven't completed his, uh, like, any, anything past Punk Talk, but I do know that some of the confidants, um, are really good, like, later on, obviously, you know, you get more attributes and more everything, um, but I do know his is really good, if I'm not mistaken. Also, I love this little text box sprite. You know, it adds a lot of life and character, especially with all the shading and then all the, uh, you know, whatever. All the tiny little details that they sprinkle in this game, it's pretty good.
So if you notice, I'm getting like blue notes every time I say something that's like good or uplifting or that he can agree with. Um, and that happens with all characters. Um, basically, the way confidants work is that you confidant one time, blah blah blah, uh, you get an back. attribute, and then you get like a you answer some stuff, you know, talk to them, kind of like negotiations, you choose the right choice. Um, and then you get the blue note. Uh, from getting the blue note, uh, you actually hey. progress. It's something that's... Yeah, cool. Um, it's something that... Um, what is it? There's like a hidden meter, and those blue notes will, you know, allow you to... Hey. Those blue notes will allow you to progress that secret meter faster. Yeah. Thus allowing you to confidant with them faster and gain more abilities. So it's pretty neat. It's pretty interesting. Hmm. Let's go. All right. Everyone's here. Okay, let's go. So all we gotta do is find a treasure now. We've already done everything. We do need to find a third will seed, which I'm pretty sure I know where it's at. Also, I forgot it's we're five heading this. Let's go, Joker. Alright, so if you guys don't remember, we we actually got I don't know why I just said we actually got both keys last time. Um, and we didn't do much besides that. So we got both keys already. Um, we can go ahead and do whatever, you know. I hope someone comes soon. Nope, you don't see me. You also don't see me. And I believe, isn't there one that pops up right here? No. Okay. Thought there was. Well then. All right, let's go. Imagine just having a labyrinth in your head and having all these axes in your head. Never noticed the spikes below. Oh, that's where it is. Yeah, I knew there was a guy somewhere. We're We've got numbers. Wait for your chance. Yo, we are kai jamming out here. You know, with a giant head and chibi outfits, it really looks like you're just zoomed in on the characters. It looks like you're zoomed in like all the way, man. Let's go. Yeah, I was trying to uh, grind anyway. Yo, we are cat jamming out here. Listen to this music. Oh, I didn't mean an attacker. My bad. Alright, but like, name any other RPG that has like this kind of music or this music style. And like, have the, has this like, oomph to it, you know? Like, this has finesse. He's so gorgeous, Panther. This legitimately has like the most finesse of like any game. Let's go. Yeah! Victory! Especially with these five heads out here. Like my move? guy. Awesome. So if you actually notice on the map, we're actually on like yellow alert. Basically what that means is that um, we're like on medium alert. Again, if we reach 100, 
we actually just get kicked out of the house. It's not wise to fight head on. I could use a hand here. Yo, my dude. Thank you. Thank you, Morgana. At least his priorities are intact. Look at that. Five head Ryuchi. Alright. Well, that's that. Now let's hurry on. I'm trying to remember where the third will seat is. Mm, this sensation. Uh, to be honest, I think we passed it. <laughs> because we got the first one. Oh, I remember where it's at now. I remember where it's at. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut to the will seed, right? And we'll be back, alright? Alright, we are back. And upon uh, investigating, I realized I missed out on a step. Yes, I know the iron bars are my path. Yeah, so I had to actually... What is it? So what I actually had to do is I had to activate the gears and I had to come up here for that. Um, because before, if you guys didn't know, this painting is also a portal. Um, and I didn't go through it before, so I forgot completely about that. Do you think? So yeah, now that the gears are moving, I can actually use this elevator and go down. And below... You'll see. Forgot how dark it was. Do you think? Yes, below Joker. is a will see. Hey. And Fine. This guy is not that strong. Now. Mm. I think they knew what they were doing. I think Atlas knew what they were doing. Persona! Persona! How about this? Thanks! Persona! It's time. I wonder if I have like forgetfulness or something on uh, Ryuji because every time Ryuji has hit the Torn King of Desire is what I'll say. Every time Ryuji has hit it, um, it's been forgetting stuff. So I wonder if I have something that like causes forgetfulness or something. I think this guy just resists everything. Sorry. 
Easy dubs, five head. We are out here. Let's go. Simply level nine. Another tool for our mission. All right. Yeah, so we got the third will seed. So we should be good to just take the Krylisher. Look at that giant head. I like the previous looks more. Quite brilliant, five head Morgana. You know, one thing I never understood is why Morgana has a code name if no one's ever gonna suspect a cat. Also, Morgana is jittering like crazy. I think Morgana has seen some things. You know, because like ev the point of everyone having a code name is that. You know, they can't use their real names. So, for example, if I say Ryuji in someone's head, someone might get the thought that, you know, Ryuji did it. Somehow, some way. It's a possibility. Same thing if I say, like, on the person's head or palace I'm inside of, they might be like, oh, on is here, you know, because their subconscious is. You know, it, you're roaming in someone's subconscious, but they're not gonna know Morgana because Morgana's just a cat. I don't know. I have, I've always found that interesting, and I've never quite understood why Morgana had a code name. I mean, I get it; it's to like fit, you know, fit in um, with a whole group, but it's just weird to me, you know. You guys ready? We've arrived. Let's do this. <laughs> so I want you guys to notice no. something. Just uh just tell me if you notice anything. Okay, let's go. You guys notice anything? Anything at all? Anything? Just saying the ceiling is weirdly shaped, if you ask me. Place. Yeah, you don't shit. say. This place has so many riches. That also, that gold is huge. Those pieces of gold are literally bigger than Morgana's head. Well, some of them. But like, dang. Hey, what is this? It's. I like that moon aesthetic. It reminds me of Castlevania. <laughs> That's the treasure. Just hold on a second. I was planning on telling you more. You know, I already know the story, and I already know Morgana's fate. But Simply I'm confused how Morgana knows all of this. We'll need to make it it, it's really we weird. Steal it. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but like, what do you mean? It, it's still confusing how Morgana knows everything. Desires have no physical form by nature, hence. We'll first need to make the real person aware that they're This is easily the coolest part of the story, by the way. 
Once they're conscious, is that the desires might be you have to so send a calling card. The treasure will finally show itself. But how do we do that? We warn them. Tell them we are going to steal your heart. If you do that in reality, and then you invade their subconscious, um, they'll be on high alert, making their that cloudy thing, the treasure, to materialize. Is basically what Morgana's getting at. And it's easily one of the coolest things in this game. So we're gonna send a calling card? Oh, that's totally You're what not a wrong, would Ryuji. do. Once we do that, the treasure will appear for certain. Uh, I think that again. Either way, sounds like it's worth giving it a shot. Our infiltration route is secure. All that's left now is to pump out a calling card in reality, then come back to take the treasure. This is it, huh? That's the spirit. Once we send out the calling card, there will be no turning back. Just let me know when you're ready. We'll head back to the hideout and send out that calling. Well then. Hey. All right. Yeah, now all we gotta do is what send that calling do? card. We've already completed right. everything. Well done. Yes. I forgot who it is. I need to play this game some more um, because I don't remember. But someone, I think it's actually Kawakami. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Kawakami. Uh, you're able to explore and have free time after doing metaverse stuff um, if you do her confidant. Hey. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Mm, okay, I think I'm, well, I think I might raise my proficiency. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's just make sure that there's nothing to do. Oh. I want to make sure that there's completely nothing to do before I send the calling card. Like, Sean, let's see, I think today is probably the best day to do it. Considering it's a Sunday, so I think today is the best day to send a calling card you? because you're not going to be able to do anything what is it? you're not going to be able to do anything anyway at school so the only thing that i'm going to be doing today is actually just buying stuff that's the only thing that i need to do mm, okay okay yeah i'll take this for sure being said okay i think i'm gonna go to the hideouts and send the calling card all that's left now is to send out the calling card which honestly i don't know why there isn't more i don't know why there isn't more um security at this school on a day that everyone has it off it's not that simple a treasure won't stay materialized forever 
Once the impression is gone, the treasure will disappear. They gave the plot of this story a lot of thought. That's something I will say. I think it'll last around it. a day at most. The hell? That's like no time at all. Anyways, we can send a calling card right now, yeah? Let's do it and steal that bastard's heart. Now then. I've been waiting to... Tomorrow is finally the... So we send the calling card in the morning and carry out the plan by the end of the day, right? Correct. The effect won't last that long. Are you worried? <laughs> Waited too long. Perfect. Going to pull this off no matter what. An has a lot of spirit. So, who's going to write the card? Especially after everything that happened. She has a lot of me. spirit and... I guess vengeance, but I don't know if that's a word. Why? Um, after what happened to she -Hill, It's kind of her driving force. Why wouldn't it be me? Um, Ryuji. This is important. Are you sure you can handle the pressure? I must agree. I really want to get him good. Let me write it. Uh, come on, please. I believe in you, Ryuji. Gotcha. I got a hundred things I want to hurl at that bastard rattling around in my head. Just make sure it's not obvious who wrote it, all right? I know, I know. All right then, tomorrow it is. You'd better not slack off on this. Well then. Yeah, today was a good day, or I guess I could have done it yesterday and then um, Sunday would have worked, you know. That could have been a little bit better, but today's a good day because uh, I'm not doing anything today. So that's something else you also want to look forward to, um, is making sure you have like an even amount of time management. So for example, I did it on a Sunday on a day where I couldn't really do anything because I didn't have school. Um, when you have school, you have more options, you know? Oh. Yeah, let's clean up. I don't think cleaning up takes oh. any time. If it does, uh, I'll be worried. Nice. Okay. That's incredible. Hmm, I got a book. Ooh, mm. I got two books. Nice. Yeah. And I got a TV. Well, Oh, I love that aesthetic. It's hey. so cool. So now that I have books, I can actually start reading them. Uh, so, for example, I'll, I'll read this one. Hmm? Magazines are easily some of my favorite books on here. And honestly, I wish there was like 20 more of them. Because they're actually quite interesting. Uh, so they talk about a whole bunch of stuff. Um, especially stuff in Shibuya. Just all over the military stuff, and then you could actually explore secret areas uh, due to reading those magazines. Because a lot of them are toward. Is that Kawakami just running? Anyway, yeah, a lot of them are just uh, tourist spots and attractions and stuff. But yeah, it's quite interesting. A calling card? I heard it was already posted by the time everyone got here this morning. Sir Suguru Kamoshida, the utter bastard of lust. We know how shitty you are, and that you put your twisted desires on students that can't fight back. That's why we have decided to steal away those desires and make you confess your sins. This will be done tomorrow, so we hope you will be ready. From the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Wow. To be honest, the first time I saw this, I was just not bad. Huh? I looked up like, a bunch of similar stuff online. I was awestruck, to be honest, because um, the whole plot of this yeah. is so cool. I 
know it's like if you took to Ocean's say, Eleven, but, it but like an idiot trying to be an you adult. also combined it with Inception. Your logo's a little lacking too. That's the easiest, the, the easiest and most simplest okay, thing you know I what? can say. That ain't true. You take Inception and you mix it up with Ocean's Eleven. Did Mr. Kamashita do the, something wrong? And you get the plot of Persona. Does this mean the rumors are true? Wait a sec. Is someone gonna take something from Mr. Kamashita? What's with this weird logo? And who are these phantom thieves of hearts people? It got everyone excited, so it's all good, yeah? Who's responsible for this? Look at that. A predictable reaction for someone who knows what we mean by distorted. I think it's hitting him pretty hard. Did you do this? Or was it you? Honestly, as a teacher, that's a horrible What's reaction. You so you're playing dumb? <laughs> it's not a problem. You'll be expelled soon enough anyway. It's very, uh... How should I say it? It's... Come, steal it if you can. Oh, this... this is so cool. I love this. Yeah, so you fully out 100. Judging from Kamoshida's response, does that mean the treasures appeared? We'll be able to get it today, right? It's not just today. It's only today. The impact of seeing a calling card doesn't last long, and it cannot be repeated. This will be our one chance to steal the treasure. Let's go. One day's more than enough for Again, us. this just felt like an, an adrenaline high, you know? Like, this felt really good when I was playing it the first time. Which, honestly, I wish I could share the experience with you guys um, my first time playing this game because literally, I was playing it and I was like, wow. And then you get this song right here. I was waiting for this song because this is like the first Persona song that I've ever heard and like this song hits you so hard. Uh, so the cool thing about this is that you're at 100, right? Uh, so if you get caught, you're just kicked out and it's also game over, I believe. Um, the not so cool thing is that if I wanted to, I can literally just skip to the ends, which I'm going to. To be honest, I wish they made it differently, where like, you can't just skip to the end, because I think it would be so cool, especially with some palaces. Um, I think it's so cool to just, you know, look at everything, look back, explore the palace one more time, on high alert, and have to go up and progress everything you just did. Obviously, obviously, all the doors will be unlocked. Everything will be fine, but just going out and Come on, man. you know, experiencing everything a second time. I think that idea is really cool. And it's a crown. It is big though, oh, yeah. even for the our five heads. Man, it's sh what do you think? <gasps> kind of, why is it so? Uh, what's wrong? All right, that's enough, you stupid cat. <clears throat> Um, you were completely out of character. T I couldn't stop it either. To think I'd be drawn. <gasps> Doesn't that prove that I'm here? How should we know? Uh, anyway, you guys. All you do is bark still. That was easier than I thought. This palace will become a sheetable chain. That should be the case. Good. Now's our. It's. To think it'd go so well. My judgment was correct. Let's go. All right. Go, go, let's go, Kamoshida! 
The spike of a sanctuary and the dive of a sanctuary. That was actually a pretty nice dive, to be honest. I will let anyone take this. This proves that I am the king of this castle. Also, a little this inaccuracy world. here. Why is On back? You know, like other On. Pretty sure she got sliced in half. That rat bastard. That's how he sees me, isn't it? Yo, pervert. Were you waiting to ambush us? I just made it easy to find you. I'll dispose of you myself, right here. That's our line, you sexually harassing D-bag. I love this line. What a selfish misunderstanding. How is it a misunderstanding? You were doing things that you kept in secret from others. People around me were the ones who kept it secret. He's Adults not wrong, but he's also very, very, very wrong. They willingly protect me so that we all may profit from it. Profit? There are too many imbeciles who don't understand that. Including naive brats like you and that girl who tried to kill herself. True, she's a total idiot. Letting you manipulate her, trying to commit suicide. And I'm even more of a dumbass for not realizing. But no matter what kind of fool someone might be, they don't need your permission to live their life. Drop the attitude, you mediocre peasant. There is no wrong in using my gifts for... I'm a cut above all other humans. Above? You mean beneath? You're a goddamn demon obsessed... <laughs> That's right. I'm not like you. I'm a demon who rules this world! Okay, let's get it. Our first palace ruler battle. Oh my goodness. So I believe there's like four ways to win this if I'm not mistaken. And it's all pretty easy. Look! We should catch him. Let's attack him. Especially in New Game Plus. It's actually quite a meme. New Game Plus. Yeah, I think the strategy for this is literally just gonna be rushing. Rushing right now. Yeah. And he heals 3,000. It's nice. Let's go. Ravage them. Someone tell. Persona. How about this? Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go for Panther. Headbutt is strong for me. I 
always saw you as a condescending hotshot, but right now, you're just a pathetic loser. Let's go, five head reunion. We Ryuji. came all this way to steal that. Five head on. Give it up and hand it over. Silence! I will let the lights of you! You still have the energy to say things like that? Then we're going to up our game as well. <laughs> Kamoshida, I, I have a right. Slow, Mishima. Mishima? Oh, wait, what? Why is he here? Calm down. That's only Kamosh. It feels like he's gonna attack. Keep your guard Who's up. Next? What's the plan? Persona! Yeah, this game gets really easy once you realize uh, what you need to do. I brought you your ball, just like you I was about to say, I did weaken him a little bit, so... Alright, so this is plan B. Yeah, we're just stealing the treasure via a different way. Um, yeah, so we need to send someone. Okay, after like a thousand years of doing the same thing over and over, I'm getting closer to actually accomplishing my goal. Again, this is way easier after the new game, obviously. But everything carries over. Almost there! Oh, I didn't mean to It's our Nice, Morgana. Good. Come on. I think we can. I want to let you Let's go. There. You dare strike me. Persona! You do so much more damage after. Out of the way. After just taking his crown. 
finally I defeated him after like 10,000 years. All right, level up. What's wrong? Not running away. Why don't you run? Aren't you a great athlete? Nice one. It's always been like this. All those goddamn hyenas forcing their expectations on me. I'm doing this all for them. What's wrong about demanding a reward for that? Now you're making excuses. We'll do something about that distorted heart of yours. <laughs> Scared right now? You're seeing the same view that Shiho did. I'm sure she was scared too. Except she had no choice but to jump. What will you do? Anna's ruthless. Will you jump? Or would you rather die here? <laughs> do you want to finish him off? It's your call. No, please wait. I beg you. Just forgive me. Shut up. I bet everyone told you the same. But you... you took everything from them! No! I... I accept defeat. You want this? Take it! Go ahead and finish me off. You do that, and my real self will go down too. You have that right, since you've won. <laughs> On! If his mind shuts down, he can't admit his crimes. You're kind, Lady On. I've lost. You're through when you lose. What am I? What am I supposed to do now? Atone for your sins. All right. I will leave now and return to my real self. I'll make sense. Whoa! Hey, just so you know, we don't have time to waste. This place is about to collapse. Hey, it's animation. Ryuji almost died. So since yeah, so since the metaverse's powers are wearing off, uh, Ryuji's leg is going back to normal. So that's what I was saying about before that the metaverse holds special powers, but if you take someone's treasure, the palace fades, just like Kamashita fade, you know? So it's not that they like self-destruct or they die, it's just that, oh my goodness, Morgana was literally spread out. Anyway, it's just that the powers in there start to fade. Because the palace, you gotta remember, is negativity um, and the negative desires that someone has. It's not their full brain, if that makes sense. Look at the nav. Also, I don't remember Ryuji and On getting a nav. I thought it was just a uh, Joker who had a nav. It's true. That's weird. We can't go there anymore. What about the treasure? Nice. What the? A medal? Wait, where Wait, is that a bronze? Go? What's going on? You're telling me. Wait. It means that was the source of Kamoshida's desires. Are you telling me this was a bronze medal this whole time? It's not even a gold medal or anything? Damn. This medal is worth as much as that crown we saw in the palace. He sucks. An Olympic medal. So, that perv kept clinging to his past glory and couldn't let it go. But. This means that Kamoshida's heart might have changed. Probably. Our expulsion's on the line here! 
This is the first successful example for me, too. However, there's no doubt that this has affected Kamoshida's personality quite a lot. The entire palace disappeared, after all. Uh, I feel all antsy. Ain't there a way to check now? We'll know soon enough. Right. Come on, why the gloomy faces? Be happy! We completed this with great success, you know. We just don't know if everything's okay yet. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Remember how Kamoshida's shadow said that he's returning to his self in reality? We all know Suguru Kamoshida is scum. Still, he did seem to regain his conscience somewhat before he disappeared. There are definitely those who have been saved thanks to what you've done. Yeah. Anyways, it all boils down to what's gonna happen to Kamoshida. Or if we're getting expelled for real. Yeah. Ah, you're back. All right. Today has been amazing. We've had an eventful episode. And I think that's it for today. Uh, we'll find out the result of Kamashita and stealing uh, his hearts. But in the meantime, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, look at my other videos for some more content, you know? Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching.